people have been breeding animals and plants for thousands of years to produce desirable traits. For example, we have bred sheep with more wool, cows that produce more milk, and wheat that grows in dry Australian conditions or is resistant to pests. More recently, scientists have been able to achieve these desirable effects more accurately through using gene technology. For example, to make plants naturally resistant to insect pests or to produce drought-tolerant crops. Genetically modified or GM foods have been grown and safely consumed around the world for close to 20 years. Because this is a newer technology, there are some special rules for GM foods and they must be assessed as safe by the government food regulator, Food Standards Australia New Zealand, before they are sold. Food Standards Australia New Zealand scientists do a rigorous safety assessment which includes comparing the GM food with its closest counterpart to make sure it is as nutritious and as safe. Most GM crops used for food are grown overseas, but cotton and canola are grown in Australia. None are currently grown in New Zealand. Other imported GM foods can include products made from soy, sugar beet, potatoes and corn. Australian and New Zealand scientists are working on more local GM products such as sugarcane or wheat. Some people may want to know whether their food is GM or not, so most GM food is labelled for consumer information. If there is altered DNA or protein in the final food, then it must be labelled GM. But to keep the cost of food labelling down so our food doesn't get more expensive, some ingredients like highly refined oils, flavours, additives or processing aids might not need to be labelled as genetically modified if they don't contain altered DNA or protein. For further information, visit the Food Standards Australia New Zealand website.